Hi guys, some more exciting news is going to change how you think about crypto in this video, so don't go anywhere, but in fact, do click subscribe, drop a comment, and follow us for more news and crypto updates. So right now, Liquidium secured $1.25 million pre-seed funding for the ordinal lending of Bitcoin. All right, so a significant leap uh, in this sector for Liquidium, actually a burgeoning startup. Uh, raised what, that 1.25 million in the pre-seed funding round, which is really, really good. And the capital injection actually made that very important moment because it's actually looking to pioneer a novel lending framework that's going to be using Bitcoin's ordinal technology. So this round was actually by the backing of some prominent investors like Bitcoin, Frontier Fund, Side Door Ventures, uh, Actual Ventures, Sora Ventures, Spicy Capital, UTXO Management, and a group of some strategic uh, angel investors as well. All of them putting their things together to well, reach this actual goal. Now, the innovative model leverages the technology to create a lending platform where Bitcoin ordinals is going to act as collateral. Now, the venture not only diversifies uh, Bitcoin's utility, but also introduces a fresh dynamic to the digital space. Now, the managing partner of Soar Ventures said Liquidium is a filling a huge market gap by introducing additional utility on ordinals, now a core element to further boasting the value of ordinals use case, given that fungible tokens are also in the form of ordinals. And it will be very interesting to see how Liquidium can leverage this standard to grow their adoption. Now, this successful funding round makes a significant step to actually integrating the novel technologies like the ordinals into the practical financial applications. But soon the company will be advancing towards realizing this vision and it actually is standing as a testament for the ever evolving and innovator of national cryptocurrency sector. And XRP well dumped around 23 million XRP because of the price sloping below 0.63. So what is what can be expected next? Now, um, of course, backed by Ripple Labs, XRP uh, is making some speculation against all of the crypto market uh, fanatics on the token, um, but noted by the well activity. Now, uh, even though the XRP cryptocurrency actually is noted, noting a substantial pump over the last few days, the coins uh, actually fell pretty hard today. I'm looking up with a few others, not just XRP, but a few others kind of dropped. Uh, and uh, but analysts across the globe are sharing some well, some optimistic point of views for the XRP token, even with this price dump. Right. So this is kind of going on. So according to some data, a well-known wallet uh, was noted making the transfer to Bitstamp, um, and reported by CoinGap or Media earlier. The same wallet address was noted making some other big substantial features uh, to sexes in a series of transactions over the last few days as well. Uh, in addition to that, XRP to a sex amid a price slump, who actually got a lot of more people, a lot more people curiosity uh, raging uh, between the crypto traders and investors. Uh, but also this price slump is coming over. It marks a marginal descent of around 0.83 over the past week uh, and well, accompanied by a monthly decrease of 3.3%. But what's really interesting about this is that the crypto analysis worldwide actually are staying bullish on the token despite the fall of this. So the analysts stress the XRP community saying that the token's trajectory towards 1.4 uh, remains actually unchanged and the statement comes after uh, the fact that the market terminalist was witnessed. Uh, so XRP is also aiming. And the final piece that I have for you is Bitcoin might drop to 36,000. Some other top analysis warned it is pretty obvious that it could potentially drop to this as the market structure itself um, kind of was built on this recently. But um, uh, there's one at Carpe Noctrum, uh, he's known as X suggests that Bitcoin could see to a 36,000 range, and his bearish case is actually based on the daily Kijun line. Uh, but he advises that sitting at a stop loss on the positions around 42 might be prudent. Now, if you're not really sure what the Kijun line is, it's a key component of the Ichimoku cloud trading system uh, that represents one of the main indicators used by traders to, well, to gauge potential price movements. But a dip below the Kijun line can be interpreted as a bearish signal. 
and there's a green cloud that indicates a bullish phase with potential support levels uh, if the price does decline more uh, the fact that the price action is above the cloud suggests that the overall trend is upward so it's also pretty good as well now if the price were to enter the cloud it might suggest uncertainty or it could actually be a change in the trend altogether and if it were to break below the cloud it could be considered a very bearish signal uh, but i guess we'll just have to kind of take a look and pay attention to this uh, as well if you're not familiar with the QG line do kind of follow up on that and learn on this so you can understand what that means it's a very useful tool as well guys that's all i have for you today thank you for joining me i will see you next time support the channel by clicking subscribe and I'll see you then.